Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Finally, yesterday, I got around to completing my armor collection. I now have every single armor set that is currently available in-game, including all of the amiibo options too. There are a couple that will most likely be coming further down the line, and I'll speak about them at the end of the video. But in the meantime, I thought I'd put together a video that showcases all of these armors, since some of them are really cool, and where applicable will tell you guys where they come from. This won't, however, be an in-depth guide for each and every armor piece, but I will at least tell you what shrines, missions, or shops they come from, so you know where to direct your efforts. Obviously, it goes without saying, there may be a few mild spoilers in this video, so if you're trying to avoid them, then you might want to come back another time. But if you do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated. Also, let me know down below what armor sets you guys like the most, or which ones you wear most in-game. Now, let's get started. First up, kicking things off with the old well-worn set. This is something you will all have, you get this right at the beginning of the game, from the two chests straight outside the Shrine of Resurrection. It's not that exciting and it won't be long before you replace it, but since this is an all armor video, I can't not show it, right? Moving on from there, you then have the warm doublet. There are actually a few places you could obtain this. You can either get it from the old man in the east of the plateau when you complete his cooking recipe by finding a missing fish. Alternatively, if you make it to the peak of the snowy area and talk to him there, he will then give it straight to you. And you can also buy it from Hateno Village. But this piece gives you basic cold resistance. After that, you then have the Champion's Tunic. This is given to you from Impa when you get the main quest, Captured Memories. You have to go off and find one of the missing memories, and when you return to her, she will then give you this armor, which is, of course, the iconic tunic for Link in Breath of the Wild. Maybe not the conventional green, but it is the one you see in all the promotional material. It also has the armor bonus that lets you see enemy HP. After that, you then have the Barbarian set. This actually looks pretty badass, and it has the added bonus of giving you attack up. However, it doesn't stop there. See, most of the complete sets in-game, if you upgrade them to level 2 at the Great Fairy, you also unlock a secret set bonus. In the case of this set, that is Charge Attack Stamina Up, which basically reduces the stamina cost for your charge attacks. The helmet for this comes from the 2 Kalos Shrine. The chest piece comes from the Dilamag Shrine. And the legs come from the Kwazatoki Shrine. Basically, the three mazes. After that, you then have the Climber set. This provides you with the Climb Speed Up bonus, so you climb faster. However, if you upgrade this to level 2, you also get Climb Stamina Up, which reduces your stamina cost while climbing. The helmet for this comes from the Ridahi Shrine. The chest piece comes from the Chaskreta Shrine. And the legs come from the Tano Oa Shrine. Next up, one of my favourite sets, partly because it has this samurai top knot for the hair, but also because the armour looks like something straight out of Dynasty Warriors. But this is the Desert Vo set, a male Gerudo set. This is sold in the secret Gerudo clubhouse. There's a quest that'll give you access to the shop. The primary bonus is Heat Resist. Meanwhile, the level 2 set bonus is Shock Resist. And while in the same area, the other set that is sold in the Gerudo Secret Clubhouse is the Radiant set. Basically, the Mexican wrestler. It looks pretty funny, but it also glows at night, like so. The basic bonus for this is Stalio, which increases the spawn rate of stal type monsters, basically the bone creatures that come out at night. But the level 2 bonus is actually twofold. You have Disguise, which lets you walk unseen among the same type of enemy and also Bone Attack Up, which increases your attack power with specifically Bone-type weapons. You then have the Flame Breaker set. This is, of course, purchased from the Goron store in the Goron City. You can actually get the chest piece for free by completing a side quest just before the city by collecting Fire Lizards, but if you miss that, you can, of course, buy it. The most expensive part of this set is the helmet that comes in at 2,000 rupees, but this provides you with Flame Guard, and if you get it to level 2, it'll also make you Fire Proof. You then have the Gerudo set, this makes you look like a Gerudo Vi, or a female, and it is the only way you can enter and walk around the Gerudo town. Even after you've completed the story missions, you still can only go in wearing this set. You get this from a side quest in the oasis just before town, you basically get it by climbing to the top of the inn at night, and you can then speak to the person there. This set gives you heat resist, and nothing more. 
You then have the Ancient or the Guardian set, as I like to call it. It looks pretty crazy and requires a ton of Guardian pots, but this has Guardian Resist, so you take less damage from Guardians. Plus, its level 2 bonus is Ancient Proficiency, so you do more damage with Guardian type weapons. And you can buy this from the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. After that we have the Hylian set. I probably should have shown this earlier since you get this very early on in the game, but this can be purchased from Kakariko Village or Hateno Village. It doesn't give you any bonuses, but early game it is the closest you're going to get to a conventional looking tunic, especially if you dye it green. Following on from there, we then have the rubber set. This gives you shock resistance, but upgraded to level 2, it makes you completely unshockable. And in order to get this, you'll need to complete the side quest Thunder Magnet for the helm, the Toyasha Shrine for the chest piece, and the Kukanata Shrine for the legs. Moving on from there, you then have the Snow Quill set. This is purchased from the Rito Town in the Armor Store, and this gives you Cold Resist, plus the level 2 bonus makes you unfreezable. Soldier set up next, this can also be purchased from Hateno Village, I love this armor plating, but sadly this set gives you absolutely no bonuses whatsoever, so I just wear it to look like a badass. Throw the hood on and it actually looks pretty sweet. After that you then have the stealth set, this comes from the Kakariko Village armor store, your primary bonus is stealth up, making it easier to sneak. But if you get it to level 2, it has night speed up, making it so that you move faster at night, which is actually the same bonus as the Dark Link set. Also, whilst on the topic of stealth set, from the Sheik Amiibo specifically, you can also get the Sheik Mask. It also has stealth up, much like the stealth helmet, but it doesn't have the level 2 night speed bonus. So this is more for if you want to look like Sheik without any additional benefits. But as mentioned, this only comes from the Sheik Amiibo. After that we then have the Zora set, this comes from a combination of places, the chest piece is given to you once you complete the Varuta Divine Beast quest, meanwhile the helmet comes from a hidden chest at the bottom of Toto Lake, just use your Magnesis rune to find it, pull it out the lake, open it up, job done, and the legs come from the Lionel Safari quest, there is a Zora you can speak to in Zora's domain, you go up, you take a photo of the Lionel, and she then gives you these. After that we then have the Dark Link set, this is sold by Kilton in exchange for his currency Mon which you earn by trading monster parts. I've done a dedicated video on this so I will simply link that down below if you want to see it. But this set gives you night speed up and there is no level 2 bonus for this set. Following on from there you then have the Bespoke Breath of the Wild Green Tunic, again another set that I did a dedicated video for just the other day so I'll also link that one down below. This has no effect by default, but if you get the set to level 2, then you get Master Sword Beam Up, which increases the attack power of the Master Sword Beam attacks. In fact, all the green tunic sets have this bonus, so the same will apply for all the amiibo ones that I'm about to show you. This one, however, comes from completing all 120 shrines, but again, check the video for the full details. The next ones I will go over very quickly, they all come from the corresponding amiibo. We have the Ocarina of Time set from the 30th anniversary Ocarina of Time amiibo. The Twilight Princess set from the Smash Brothers Twilight Princess Amiibo. The Wind Waker set can either come from the 30th Anniversary Wind Waker Link Amiibo or the Smash Brothers Toon Link Amiibo. And the Classic set, the original one, comes from the 8-bit 30th Anniversary Link Amiibo. On the topic of Amiibo, however, there are two more armor sets listed in the official guide, but these can't currently be obtained. One is Fierce Deity Link, the other is Skyward Sword Link. So I'm going to assume that Nintendo will be releasing more amiibo for those later this year, perhaps to coincide with the DLC for Breath of the Wild later on, so when they do drop, I'll be sure to show them to you then. But for the time being, the Skyward Sword set will have the same bonus as the other green tunics for the Master Sword Beam Up, and Fierce Deity will provide you with Attack Up and Charge Attack Stamina Up, so the exact same as the Barbarian set. So, that's it for complete sets, but there are still more pieces to go over. First up, let's talk masks. These are sold by Kilton, and the cool thing about these masks is that if you wear them in the vicinity of that type of enemy, they won't actually attack you. Apart from the Lionel, he will remain cool for a bit, but then he'll work it out and he'll get mad. 
There are four masks in total, one for the Bokoblin, one for the Moblin, one for Lazalfos, and one for the Lionel. You then have a load of jewellery that you can buy from the jeweller in Gerudo Town after completing the associated side quest. These are basically replacements for some of the other armour pieces, so if you don't want to wear helmets, you can instead wear these. Amber gives you basic defence, Topaz gives you shock resistance, Opal is swim speed up, Sapphire is heat resistance, Diamond is guardian resist, and Ruby is cold resist. You then have two pairs of boots, sand boots and snow boots. The sand boots make it so you can run at normal pace when on the sand. And you get these from the 8th heroine side quest. And upon completing that quest, you then get the forgotten sword side quest. And that will give you the snow boots. You'll actually get the snow boots first. But once you're given the sand boots, you have to return the snow boots until you complete the second part of the quest. And then finally, there is the Thunder Helm. This comes from the side quest Thunder Helm. You have to complete four specific missions in Gerudo Town. And Regia will then give this to you. This makes you completely lightning proof, so you can be struck by lightning storms. Pretty handy. And of course, last but by no means least, how can I forget the Nintendo Switch shirt? If you guys buy the season pass, this is of course located in one of the chests on the plateau. It has no stats whatsoever, it's not a very good item to wear, and also if you sell this, you can't get it again. So it's just a commemorative item, you can wear it if you want to, but it's not going to give you any advantage whatsoever. And that, my friends, is pretty much it. If you're interested as a bonus ending, here is what I wear when I'm not in a hot or cold climate. I like to see this as my modern Link attire. The new hero cap, the Hylian chest piece, and the rubber legs. These have those sort of cool high top boots, and I kind of like the look. This is basically how I roam around when I'm in normal areas. But anyway, that's it. Those are all the armor pieces currently in game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions, then drop them down below. And thank you for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.